Folks, it has finally happened. The moment we've all been waiting for. The moment we've all been wishing for. The LEGO idea set of Thomas the Tank Engine has hit its goal of 10,000 supporters. I want to give a big congratulations to Kaiju Builds. Well done, man. Honestly, you do deserve this. You honestly do deserve this because this is truly an amazing build. I really love it and I really think that you were able to perfectly translate Thomas into Lego form. So honestly, well done man. You deserve it and I'm so happy that you're able to reach 10,000 supporters. It's been so amazing to see all the support that's been given to the set from videos to, to even people in my own comment section. It's been really amazing to see all this love and support given to the set and to this person. Remember, this wouldn't have happened if it weren't for you guys. Let's never forget this. This set wouldn't have gotten to where it is now without everyone's support. Whether it was something minor or small, like simply going ahead and, you know, clicking that support button, or whether it was, you know, making a tweet or video, whatever it is, all your support is valid. And it's definitely, definitely played some big part into getting this set to where it is today. It's also been really cool to see as time has moved on, all the different sort of like Lego idea sets that Kaiju Bills has made besides Thomas. Like, I didn't think he would do anything more than just Thomas, but he proved me wrong when he went ahead and made Annie and Clarabelle, Percy, Toby, Henrietta. He's even gone ahead and made a driver and fireman, which is really nice. And also, you know, maybe it took a bit of, you know, thingy from me. You know, I'm just not, I'm not saying, you know, I, I should take, you know, all the credit for that. But I'm just saying, maybe I should take some of the credit, you know. No, I mean, I'm not saying I should, but maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I could. He's done the Arlsdale Gang, which I found that really surprising. He's done a Lego shed, which I think is really cool and gives a bit of a glimpse at what Lego Thomas sets could look like. You know, you know, maybe we could get ourselves a Napford Station, a Brendam Docks, or even a Tidmouth Shed. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? He's also gone ahead and made a Lego minifigure Ringo Star, which I absolutely adore. And I think that'd be so cool if we got, you know, minifigures of all the other narrators. Although there's one narrator I don't think would get a minifigure and mm, I think we all know who that would be I'm not gonna say who it is because we already know if you don't know trust me you do know you do know you know who it is there's no need to ask you know who it is he's also made a Lego lady which was kind of a bit of a curveball if you ask me but sort of a nice little curveball I also like the fact that he designed her without a face which there is a technical reason for that and that was because he couldn't fit the face on the small disc he had but I think this is a lot better considering the fact that in the film you see Lady more so without her face than you do with her face. He's also made a Lego Diesel 10. Now not many people actually know about this and I haven't seen some people you know as many people talk about this as some of the other ones but that's mainly because he posted all of this stuff on his Flickr or Flickr, Flick, oh, however you pronounce this website, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with this website, but I was able to find it out. He's also posted a bunch of other stuff, you know, more close-up shots of, you know, of you know his Thomas designs and such of all the other characters. He's also done different posts of stuff not related to Thomas, but. I still think they're equally as cool. I mean, he's done some Portal, he's done Wally, -E, you know, there's tons and tons of different sets that he's made on here. I will leave a link in the description down below for you to check out his Flickr page and you can see all of these amazing builds for yourselves. Also, I do recommend go giving them, you know, a quick check out. And if you want to see more in depth details on some of the other characters that he submitted through the Th Lego Thomas ideas. Again, congratulations Kaiju Builds for hitting 10,000 supporters. I really do love all of your Thomas Builds and even your non-Thomas Builds. They truly are amazing and I do hope that you continue on making more awesome LEGO Builds. So now that Thomas has reached 10,000 supporters, what is there left for Thomas? Well, 
According to an official comment from LEGO themselves, as said, this project moves from the idea stage to the review stage, a LEGO review board. Composed of designers, product managers and other key team members will examine the idea. We'll build concept models and determine if the concept meets our high standards for what it takes to be a LEGO product. This includes factors such as playability, safety and fit with the LEGO brand. Every potential LEGO product goes through a process like this and must meet the same standards. So essentially a bunch of people from the LEGO team are reviewing through this LEGO set to determine whether or not this is a set they should make or you know if it should be produced or you know all that kind of you know you know corporate stuff. However, Thomas is not the only set that they're currently reviewing. As stated here underneath, this project qualifies for the second 2022 review which includes projects that reach 10,000 supporters between early May and early September. So all the sets that reach the 10,000 supports in that time period are also being reviewed alongside Thomas. And this is where I start to worry a little bit because, well, the competition. Not including Thomas, there are currently 50 LEGO sets in review to be made. The reason why I'm worried is that the many other times where LEGO have had to review through a bunch of different sets that have been submitted that have reached the 10,000 supporters, not all of them have been officially approved by LEGO. Say for example LEGO Ideas first 2021 review results. There was around 57 different sets submitted and yet only three were actually approved for the second 2021 LEGO Ideas review. There was around 34 products that were submitted but only two were ever approved. And this is where I begin to worry because when compared with all these different sets, mm, it's very, very steep competition to say the least. Now for the list of requirements for these sets to meet in order for them to be made is not entirely clear. They have given us somewhat of a good indication on the qualifications that a set needs to meet. I do believe Thomas does match with all of these criterias well except with possibly one or two of them products on shelves i think this is referencing to whether this is a product worth putting on shelves i can't really exactly tell because the wording for this list is a bit basic and confusing but i'm assuming that's what it means like you know is this a product worth putting on shelves you know is it worthy to be put on shelves you know that sort of stuff and yeah I mean, there's been many other Thomas products before that have been put on shelves, and some of them have definitely not been worthy, so yeah, I say this product of Thomas is definitely worthy being put on shelves. <coughs> New products currently in development. This is in reference to, at least I believe, on whether there's already a similar product that LEGO is making. So say for example, if LEGO is making a pirate ship, you know, like a LEGO pirate ship set, and someone submits a LEGO pirate ship, they're not really going to approve that set because they're already making something similar to it. So unless they're making a LEGO Thomas set already, which is cool, but I doubt they are. So that means, yeah, Thomas is, ticks that box already. Licensing possibilities. This is the one that makes me worried the most, that Thomas doesn't really match the criteria on because it comes down to whether Mattel would actually approve of this. Now, Thomas is already currently in license with one of LEGO's competitors, Mega Bricks. So that might be the thing to trump it all. Although saying that the minions were originally licensed by Mega Blocks and now LEGO are making LEGO sets of the minions. Although that contract I think ended and this one is currently still going so I'm not too entirely sure and there's also the whole thing of how Lego is a bit of a competitor to Mattel which I think that's really stupid for them to you know say as a reason why they wouldn't do this because like everyone gets money Lego gets money Mattel gets money everyone gets money everyone's happy I, I don't see how this is a big issue 
production capacity is just I believe is referencing to you know on how many of these sets can they make within a certain spa uh, time span you know can they make you know a hundred in a day or you know can there be a thousand produced in just a week you know that sort of basic stuff and considering that the set would just come with Thomas, Annie, Clarabo and his driver and fireman it seems like a very simple and basic set you know and even with like a bit of track it would still be really simple to produce at a high quantity and in a short span of time so there's not an issue really there for production capacity I believe. The build quality I'd have to say is really really on par. Now I'm not a Lego expert so maybe you know Lego experts would have something else to say but from what I can look at it it seems really high quality build. Feasibility, it's a Lego train it's not that impossible, it seems really simple and basic to make a Lego train of Thomas. The only issue may be being like the, the face and like you know the number one you know to put on Thomas um, but I don't see how that would be that issue to have as like printed bricks and I do hope those are printed bricks and not stickers because oh my god I seriously hate it when Lego does stickers with their builds because you, you like, I mean, you know what I mean, right? You know how like with Lego sets, they sometimes come with like stickers you have to put on, and when you put the stickers on, you want to make sure it's very precise and it's not like you know slightly at an angle or slightly off. You want it to be perfect, but of course, when you put it on for the first time, you screw it up and it isn't perfect, so you get really annoyed of it, and then you try and peel off the sticker, but either you screw it up and like completely ruin the sticker or you're able to peel it off and put it back on but it's still not the right angle so you keep taking it off and on and off and on and off and on until you finally get it perfectly on but then the sticker's lost all its stickiness <laughs> sorry I, I i i went on a bit of a ramble there it got a bit sidetracked it um it won't happen again but I think you can understand my frustration with stickers and Lego. Playability. I mean, is this even a question to be asked? Like, people are still playing with their Thomas trains, you know, Wooden Railway, the Tomy, you know, still to this day. And they're making tons and tons of videos on YouTube using their Thomas toys. And I can definitely see a lot of people using Lego Thomas to make even more videos. And with LEGO fans, you know, there's bound to be tons of LEGO fans who've made tons of train sets. And there will probably be a few people out there that understand, like, you know, LEGO trains and, like, the motorization of them and can find a way to make Thomas move all by himself with, like, you know, how to motorize him and they're able to control Thomas via with, like, a little controller thing. Expected demand. This is also something I'm a bit worried on. And that is, will people really be that excited for a Lego Thomas set? Now I've said before, Thomas fans would be really excited to see a Lego Thomas set, and Lego fans would be really excited to see a Lego Thomas set as well, but what about the general public? The reason why I worry about the general public so much is because I don't think Thomas is that big anymore with like the general public and with like the with our pop culture today like it it doesn't have that big of a staple compared to other franchises because i feel as time has moved on it sort of fizzled out a bit i'm not saying like thomas is like not big or anything but i'm just saying it's not as big as it used to be and especially considering some of the other sets on here that are based on popular licenses, I feel like those have a bit more of a bigger staple of today's pulp culture and are more and so in the minds of the general public than Thomas. And when you look at the competition that Thomas has to deal with, it's not really looking good for our number one engine. I mean, just look at the sheer amount of sets that are on here. 
Like some of my personal favourites are the the Walkman, the Chinese Garden, the Gravity Falls Mystery Shack, the Great Wave of Kanagawa, the Nightmare Before Christmas, the 1930s Repair Garage, and of course the motorised steampunk skyship. I've always been a big enthusiast on the steampunk aesthetic. <laughs> Shocker, I know. The steam engine enthusiast is also a massive enthusiast of the steampunk aesthetic. Who could have seen that come in? Now I feel like all the sets on here do meet to the same requirements that LEGO has for making for approving these sets, but I feel like some sets have, you know, meet the criterias more strongly, if that makes any sense, than others. Like, one set that does give me a bit of fear that it would win over Thomas is the Bluey Lego set. Now, Bluey at the moment is probably one of the biggest, like, kids' shows at the moment. It's really popular with young audiences and with families and I feel like this is something that's a bit more in the mind of people today. Like it's in, it's more so in the general public's mind than Thomas is at the moment, considering that it's um, very quite a recently new kids show and it's still running today, you know, and it's still fairly popular, like really popularly even. So, for that reason, I could see why LEGO would probably choose this Bluey set over Thomas, because it holds a bit more, um, it's a bit more relevant, you know, to the general public and, you know, to general audiences. But what's also another condemning reason on why LEGO would approve this over Thomas is the fact that this set reached its 10,000 supporters in just under 72 hours. This thing got to 10,000 supporters in just three days. Unfortunately, Bluey has a lot more going for it than Thomas does, as much as that really, really kills me to say it. Bluey just, Bluey just holds a bit more relevance in today's culture. I feel like Bluey is kind of like the current kids show at the moment. Unfortunately, we won't know what set LEGO will pick until a good like six or seven months because that seems to be roughly the time period it takes from them choosing with, from them, you know, going through the process of what sets to approve and make and then like to then officially like announcing them. It takes a roughly around six or seven months. So now what we can really do is hope and wait that this set wins. But it's more than likely that we're gonna have to set the fact that it may not win considering what it's up against, you know? However, that doesn't mean it's entirely over. Even if this set doesn't win, Lego Thomas still has a chance at be made into an official set. Why? Well, there's been many times before where a lot of the sets that have been put up for review have not gone through, yet have been resubmitted once more. Let's take, for example, for the first review of 2021 with the set The Polo Express. That was put in, but it didn't win. But now it's going up again for this year. And then there's also the solar system, uh, the clockwork solar system, and the A-team set. Again, those are two sets that were in previous review reviewings, but they didn't win. But yet, they're here once again. So, it seems that LEGO is very much willing to allow people to resubmit sets that did not win. Although, they do have to reach the 10,000 supporters once more, which is a bit annoying, but it's definitely better than nothing. And since Thomas already has the mass support already, I would say if we were to go again with Thomas reaching to 10,000 supporters, 
it would definitely be able to hit that hit that goal once more if not even quicker than it did last time so that's all we can really hope for if Thomas doesn't win in the end is that there's always a second chance. I once again want to congratulate Kaiju Bills for getting to 10,000 supporters and say if this doesn't win don't give up. Honestly this is an amazing Lego build. All of your other builds that you've put up on your Flickr are truly awesome and I do recommend for people to go check go check them out again link in the description down below to check out his Flickr and all of his other Lego builds that he's done I also want to give a quick thank you to the many people who've been giving their support to my videos and this channel I did not expect my videos on the Lego Thomas to become so big and popular so thank you for that and also thank you for um, all the support that you've given to all my other videos. I have been in the midst of working on some other videos. I've got um, I'm halfway through making one video. I'm not going to say what it is, but just to let you know I'm halfway through making it. I also have a few ideas for some other videos that I want to do. Um, and for the 1000 celebration video, which I know I am super 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 late on it and I've been trying my best to try and do something for it I already have a video plan for it I already have the whole thing set out but getting everything and you know finding the time has not been the easiest I know it sounds like I'm making a bit of excuses and such which I kind of am in a sense I just want to say sorry for the massive delay on the thousand video special. I do want to make it. I will make it at some point. I don't know when, but I will make it. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, do subscribe and ring the bell. And leave down a comment as a suggestion on what topic you like to see me talk about. Like, what topic do you want to see talked about? You know? What, do you, what, what sort of Thomas themed topic do you want to see discussed about? So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys all later. Peace!